What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey folks, how you doing today? You know it is, it's Mr. Red Herring himself. And what I'm doing today is, I'm doing a podcast, and I, I advised everybody who wants to have a voice or thinks they have a voice, do podcasts, do videos, do something to get your voice out there, because, you know, the world its the world is watching and the world needs to hear your voice. How, however you may think you're perceived, get out there and say something. I mean, better yet, get out there and do something. I mean, nothing extreme. Do something to help the people, help help the less fortunate, help the senior citizens, help the kids, help your family members. But uh, at the same time, don't take care of any older adults that can do for themselves, that are able-bodied. All right, now, back to lecture at hand. Today I'm talking about... Uh, all right, let me give me some background. I, I'm in these Facebook groups, and if you're conscious or like debate groups, put me in there if you want to, because you know I can bring it. But uh, I'm in this one group, and we're talking about we were talking about how it, like how black people need to come with an overall political coalition consensus and go from there in this one group, and it's true. But what gets a lot of us, me especially, and a lot of people too, apparently a lot of people think like me, which is bad for the rest of you, we're tired, and go, we're tired of black homosexuals coming in and trying to cry and whine about their agenda too. Let me tell you something. A lot of us don't have a problem. Like I said, I don't care what you do with your, with your life, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody. But you cannot have two agendas from two different groups in one group. You can't do that. That has never worked in the history of man. Because sooner or later, shit will implode. And that's what people always are waiting for. And in the black community, we have never had a single coalition where people came and said, Hey, look, this is what we're coming for. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Christian. I don't care if you're Hebrew, Israelite, Jewish, Buddhist, Scientology. I don't care what your views are. I don't care if you're... No, we don't want no. We don't want no extremists. Let's put it that way. We want you know regular down earth. You know we all know what the situations are in life. We don't want no extremists. You know we don't want no. Well, the Illuminati. We don't want you. Well, the NWO. We don't want you. We know these things exist and we know these things are in place. But if you talk like that, you will not get respected and you will look to be looked upon as a wacko. Just because we don't talk about it don't mean we don't know it's there. That is not the priority that we're talking about right now. But the priority should be. How to advance the black people in America. Every race has this. Every race has a coalition. We have had coalitions, but they haven't worked. We have to have come together on a mutual agreement, and we got to let, let, let your pride and let your ego go at the door. And as far as back to the homosexual thing I was talking about, look, if you want to join, cool. But you cannot... You, you, you're not going to get us on some, well, you guys always talk about homosexuals. You never support homosexuals. That's not my focus. My focus is helping black people politically, economically, and socially. If my focus was homosexuals, then that's where I would go. Although everybody says the only thing gay about me are my jokes. Zing, but uh, back to the lecture at hand. I'm digressing again. I always digress with you people because we all have fun here. But, like I was saying, the problem remains that a lot of black people want to bring up homosexuality, and then, and then they put this spin on it. Well, you're homophobic. It's not that I'm a, we're homophobic. Homophobic implies that we hate homosexuals and we want you wiped off the face of the earth. No. What we're implying is, if you come to the table, we understand you're gay. But that ain't why you're here. You're here for... Helping black people strive socially, politically, and economically. If that's not why you're here, then you're getting kicked out. And I, and let me explain this. Everybody now is on this homosexual bandwagon. You want to know why? Because it became cool in the late 90s, early 2000s, or well, mid-2000s. And everybody knows somebody's homosexual. 
like I said, I work with them. I, you know, live my the city I moved to, Columbus, is a, is second to San Francisco. Why do you think they call it little San Francisco? We don't have the 49ers. But the fact remains is, I could care less. I mean, if I, if I I may disagree with you in principle, but I don't hate you. But as I'm saying about the coalition, you have to come to the table with leave that homosexual thing at the at the gate since y'all want to be considered a that's you. You cannot play both sides of the, you're not going to play the black side of the fence. You're not going to play the homosexual side of the fence. Because let me put it to you this way: the, the 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 group I'm riding with, and I've talked to people. What we do, and I said this in the group before, and I'm gonna say it again. This is a, this is a phrase I'm borrowed from a JT Riley one, JT Riley, which the brother makes some videos. He was popping you with some knowledge, but and I heard a lot of older cats say this, but he, he said it all. He was the first one to say it on YouTube, so he got to get the credit where credit is due. If you play the middle, we gonna knock you the fuck off on the other side. And while we're doing this, cause we don't want no, we don't want no people who are ambivalent. We don't want people who are so-so. We don't want people who are, are well, whichever the way the wind blows. You wanna know why? Cause those will be your infiltrators. Those will be the ones that will bring you down. So we'll be like, well, fuck you. You're on the other side, no matter what. If you have no opinion, fuck you. You're on the other side. If you're here with us, you're here for the empowerment of bringing black people in socially, economically, and politically. That's all you're here for. All the other stuff is kicked off to the side. If, you, if you're if not here for that, well, look, keep it moving. You're either rolling with this or you're getting rolled the fuck over. Like I said, there has to be coalitions. Let me, let me put it to you this way. And advise, first of all, I advise everybody to travel because a lot of people haven't even left the west side of their town or the east side of their town, wherever they live. A lot of people haven't even left their block. Look, I know people who haven't left the, the block in Crown Heights. That's real shit. And I always tell people to travel. It ain't got nothing to do with having a little bit of money. You can travel with like a grand and go to most places. But let me explain. If you go to Canada, and I've been here before, but shout out to everybody in Toronto and Ottawa. And like the whole Golden Horseshoe Toronto thing, and like Ottawa, everybody over in Quebec, over there in Hall, and Gatineau, Vanier, Barhaven, and all in Ottawa. That's where I, if you look up Barhaven in Ottawa, that's where I stayed. So look up Barhaven. You'll know where I'm at. And I, I did the Vanier thing, and we all did the, you know, the downtown Ottawa. It's Ottawa's a cool city. But as I'm saying, if you look, if you look at Canada, and I, and I gotta go back to America. We America operates on a two-party system, democratically, Democrats and Republicans. I'm not trying to hear that old bullshit about the Independent Party because they do not have a foothold. When they have a foothold, then we we'll operate under a three-system party. We under uh, we operate under a two-tier party. FYI, people, the Tea Party is not a separate party. The Tea Party is under the uh, under the GOP brand. So get that straight. We are under a two-party system. Now, if you go to Canada, they do not operate under a two-party system. What they have is multiple political groups, and what they do is there, there, there's, there's, there were two dominant political groups at the time, if I can remember. I, I gotta, I, I haven't been up there in a while because I, I remember this whenever this is when Harper first got elected. This is was uh, there was two times. There was a time in '96 when Quebec wanted to leave in Canada. I was up there. And there was a second time when Harper was getting elected the first time. Well, what happened was there was two parties, but they split. One one party splintered off because they had so much infighting. And in Canada, what they do now they have multiple parties. But what they've done, what they what they do is, it's like the British system. All these all these multiple parties form coalitions because they had a common goal. And then that common goal, I think that's what got, and I'm not sure, you might have to look this up, I think that's what got Harper elected. He had his party, but he had to develop, like, coalitions with all, like, the little groups, and the little groups carried him. I, I think that's what, I, if it wasn't that election, I think it was the 96, it was one of those two elections. I'm not sure, but you can look it up. What it was is, the, the, the Prime Minister, the Premier of Canada, I'm not going to say President, because that's not what he is. The Prime Minister of Canada had his party, which was a big party, 
And what he did is he there's like like the new Demo, I'm just I don't know if these are the name of the groups, but I'm gonna use them as examples. Say it's like the new Democratic Party. Say it's like Canada now. Say it's Canadians for Canadians. Little splinter groups that they have something in common with that they agreed with Harper or the like I said I forget which election that was. I'm, I want to say '96. I'm not sure. Look it up. They were they formed coalitions and that carried the 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 guy who was running for prime minister into the prime minister's seat because they had enough votes. What they did is, and they, and they stuck with these coalitions. And let me tell you, and I, like, I like politics. I'm a political type of dude, as you can tell. And that fascinated me. And that's what we need to do. We need to form, even though, look, I may not agree with the next man on how to do something afar overall with the budget. But if, if, if I'm here to help black people like I say I am, we got to put that to the side. We got to come to a common discourse. And like, like I said, that, and that's the only way you can be. Like, I can have my religion, and I can get. And I may, maybe I disagree with another religion, but at the end of the proverbial day, I have to set that aside and go for what's best for the people. And that's the problem with a lot of you Negroes. You don't want to do what's best for the people. You want to do what's best for your Negro self. And you're not willing to sacrifice. Oh, I hear a lot of you guys talk about sacrificing. And all oh, it sounds romantic, and I'll give you that. But y'all ain't willing to sacrifice. You not. You just will do it. And like, and like I said, and there's gonna be. And let me tell you, FYI on this other thing. And this this has to be brought to the table. You have to quit blaming the white man if you want to form a coalition. Like I said, if you want to blame the white man, join the homosexuals who want their coalition. I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing this. Blame the white man. Blame the white man. You cannot keep blaming somebody. You have to accept responsibility for whatever happens. But like on on to my point, you have to like I said, we got to come together, and this is going to evolve. And I know this is this is like kryptonite to allow you motherfuckers critical thinking. We have a lot of critical thinkers in there. Not this. And here's here's what critical thinking does. I put a video up about Al Sharpton, and it, it just caught fire, thank, by the grace of God, thank you. Thanks to everybody who watched that. And what happened was, people said, well, Reverend Al's always been promoting snitching or telling or this or that. And that's not what my video was about. If you, did, if you dug deep into that video, the video was about the timing of why they put this out. It dealt with the government putting it out when they had this information when they could have put it out beforehand. I could care less. I know I know Al Snitch. We all know he did. But the point is, why did you put it out now while he has a view, why he has a bigger audience? And that's the point I was making. The problem in the black community is you say something and then they run with it's like wildfire. It's like like imagine it's like gasoline in the Arizona hot scorching sun in a desert in the forest, whatever you want to call it. Cause here's where it goes. I made I made a comment before, and I said they said well another comment was why should Obama and I'll talk about this. They said why should Obama give well what no excuse me what it was is Obama hasn't done and this is another favorite of these 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 lazy simpletons. Obama hasn't done nothing for black folks, and I'm like first of all you voted for the guy. All the Negroes voted, every every black person voted for this guy. And now you want to go to him with the list of demands after he's ready to get out of office. That was one of my comments. But the person said, well, I didn't vote for him. Then I had a string of comments by five other people. Well, I didn't vote for him. I, look, let me tell you something. And then, then I hear this one. Well, that's a blanket statement. That's another, whenever you say that's a blanket statement, that's a sign of you don't have critical thinking. Because let me let me expound. When I say that every black all the blacks voted for Obama, that is mathematically impossible for every black person in America. All 40 million—that's probably a, 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 probably a decent estimate. It's impossible for all 40 million. Number one, you know Herman Cain's a Republican, so that's one right there. It's impossible for all 40 million to vote for Obama. Critical thinkers know this is true, and critical thinkers—the only thing you know—the critical thinker will say. Well, we know every all the blacks voted for Obama, but at the same time, hold on, there's a guy trying to park. 
fuck are you doing, dumbass? Oh, all right, I'm back to lecture. But what the point is, you know, it's true. Now, I'm not saying, well, I'm not going to list every John Doe who didn't vote for Obama. That'd be stupid. But that's what critical. You have to have some critical thinking and critical thinkers. Like I said, if you want the, like I said, and this goes to my other point, you want to talk about the NWO, the Illuminati, that's fine and dandy, but that better not be one of your main talking points. It just can't be. If you want to be in, help black people, the average black person care less about the Illuminati and NWO. The average black person is trying to get their family to succeed and go drive somewhere. So, to wrap this up, what you're going to have, I can't believe I talked for like 15 minutes into a, like a, a, a recorder, an audio recorder. This is crazy. But what we're going to have to have is critical thinkers, different groups coming to, together under one umbrella for a common goal. Leave your, leave your, your, you leave your personal agendas to the side. Leave your feelings to the side. And we're going to have to be willing to kick out people who don't agree with us. Who aren't for what we're for. Once we see that they're for some other bullshit, they have to go. So, that's just my views. I hope I helped. Like I said, add me to good, good groups. Don't add me some bullshit groups. Don't add me to groups because you're trying to get a come up. And me some good groups. So, Mr. Warmack has definitely been in the building. I'm out. Peace.